Hello everyone, I am Ryla, um, today I am playing Dungeons of Dreadmoor. This is a let's play of this game, I'm going in totally blind. Pretty much what I did, I searched on the Steam forums and pretty much any other forums I could have found and just kind of kind of read up on the kind of games that I like, Spelunky, Fast and Light, things like that, um, and what games I should play next. And Pretty much this game kept coming up, Dungeons of Dreadmoor. Um, never played it, never seen it, have no idea how to do anything. Um, I'm going to try the tutorial first, I think, that's probably the best idea. Because um, I don't want to be uh, running around, um, not having a clue what to do. Um, so let's see. You will use the default keybinds and all loot will be turned off while you're learning about the horrors that await you in the dungeon. Don't worry, you can take all your customizations with you at the end of the skill day. Okay, we're going to Dungeons of Dreadmoor. We've got a lot to cover today, so let's get started. The object of Dungeons of Dreadmoor is not necessarily to beat the game. Beating the game is very, very, very hard. Instead, go into the game, seeing if you can just do a little bit better than you did last time. Eventually you will win. It's Spelunky! That's that's what this is! Okay, cool. First, however, the hero um, certification board requires you to explain how to play the game so that you can die appropriately at the hands of your enemies. Brilliant. First, let's learn how to move the hero. Moving the Moving in Dungeons of Dreadmoor is easy. The W, A, S and D keys on the keyboard will move your hero up, left, right, and right, right. Try walking over to the first lever and flipping it to activate an object. Simply click it. Okay, so let's see if we can go to the dungeon. Uh, okay, yeah, I got it. I got it. All right, okay. So let's click it. Very good. The Dwarven Educational Gate has opened, and you may now proceed to the very small Watery Maze section of the tutorial. If you don't want to use the keyboard, you can also click on the floor, your hero, then move the appropriate square. Okay, we can try that. Try using the mouse to move your way through the Watery Maze below. Know that you can just click on an object, like the lever, and move directly to it. Okay, so there we go. I want you to go over here. If you, uh, if you could keep going. You, you have a fancy swagger, my friend. I, I think we're going to get on famously. So, yeah, that that might be a better way to do it, but I don't know. I don't really use the WASD keys very much, so maybe I should do. Well done, this completes the first tutorial. And I get a gold star! Yes! Okay, next tutorial. Every time you move, or perform an action in Dungeon to Dreadmoor, I'm going to call it DOD from now on, because I'm probably going to keep saying it wrong. You and the monsters alternative t uh, alternate taking turns. You move, then they move, then you move, etc. To demonstrate this principle, let's kill something. Yay! This f little fellow here is the tutorial Diggle. One of the many Diggles that will that you will <laughs> encounter. Let's kill it quick. Okay, to attack a monster, simply move next to it, either with these buttons or with a mouse, and click on him to attack. Okay. Oh, he spotted me. Okay, here he comes. He's moved in into me. Okay, so strange little bird thing that tunnels the walls with its with its odd rubbery nasal nose. <laughs> I can never say that nose. Okay, um this monster is trying to kill you. Okay, let's click it. Oh we hit it in the face with a um a big axe. So if you have a look at the top left hand corner, it it seems that this kind of tells you what's going on so um oh it pierced us for two piercing so there's our energy at the bottom here and i hope you can see this mouse i don't know why you wouldn't but we have mana over here so we can use spells and stuff which is cool um this is going to take a lot to get used to let's attack it again go for another three it got us for two so two more it should be dead i think I will use your tongue as chewing gum. Was that me who said that, or was that that, that said that? Because that's kind of a creepy thing to say, no matter who it was. Okay, let's swing it off. Boom! Well, you sure beat him into a bloody pulp. Congratulations. And I got a gold star. I have two now. Yay! Okay, next tutorial. No man can ever become a great warrior by merely clicking on his enemies. You must apply combat skill and magic if you wish to survive the dungeon. This level contains... 
four mighty diggle warriors. Look at them, thirsting for your blood. If you suddenly charge in and try click on them, you'll get slaughtered. Yeah, well, the other one did take quite a bit off us. So, it's, what's it going to give us? It's going to give us probably um, some arrows and stuff. Uh, some arrow balls. Oh, and some magic here. Check this magic out. Uh, destroy your foes with an actual power. Shit, yeah, okay. Okay, sorry, I'm, I'm going ahead of myself, tutorial. Do go on. Fortunately, there's an easier way. In your skill belt on the right hand side of the screen, you have access to a skill. The skills you can access depend on your initial career choices that you make at the start of the game. Oh, right, okay, there's different, like, kind of classes we can be and stuff. That's pretty cool. In this case, you're a mighty axe wielder, and such have access to the mighty Norwegian axe and or. If I'm saying all this wrong, don't worry about it. I've just got a stupid kind of way of talking. It's it kind of what you get for living in the northeast of England. So, um, click on this um, icon to equip it. Okay, I'll do just that. What's he doing there? Is he on like a little... Is he, is he on the PSP? Is is he playing like... Uh, what was that ever famous for? Whatever. Let's click on this shit. Okay, excellent. Now we can kill some diggles. Notice how the... Axonado icon appears in the small gold box at the bottom of the screen. This one? It means that it is active. I'm guessing it's this one and can be executed by right clicking on a square with your mouse. Okay, so that does my kind of magic and shit. Up to the diggle. Hold down right click and see the square that you can target. Release right click to find Axonado. Now go and kill that diggle. Shit, yeah. I'm coming for you, you diggle bastard. Okay, so do I. Oh, right, okay. Oh, shit. That didn't go too well. I, uh, I'm going to run. So, it kind of has a cooldown as well. So, if we keep running... Oh, God, it has a very long kind of cooldown as well. Um, so, it's how many steps I kind of go. Oh, I'm confusing him. He's like, what the fuck are you doing, man? Are we meant to be fighting here? Okay, so I've got it back. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going to hit... Oh, okay. Um, you do your Viking ancestors proud. Notice some of the numbers have now appeared in the, on the top of the skill. And that's how... Uh, right, okay, yeah, it is disabled. We've just learned that because I was a mong and used it too early. Um, it has a cooldown period. You must wait before you can use it again. We've opened up a chamber to the Diggle's Nest. Now you can hit space to pass your turn and they will advance on your position. Oh, did we kill that one straight off? Wow. And yeah, um, wait for them to have your surround. Oh, hang on, wait for them to have you surrounded and attack with your axonado. Shit, yeah, look, we, we really did him in. Uh, I picked up six or something. Um, it is dead. Yeah, okay, so if we keep pressing space. Yeah, there we go, look, we can see it ticking down when, we, when we're pressing space. Um. They're not going to surround me, though, I don't think. I, I, I thought that's what was going to happen. I thought they were going to surround me. Okay, here they come. Here they come. Okay. Oh. Ow, ow. Okay, surrounded me. Here we go. Let's, uh... If I use it there, I can hit all three at once, look. Oh! Oh, one's still alive. Shit. Okay, um... Well, I'm just going to hit with the sword. There we go. This completes the combat ability section of the tutorial. Combat abilities do different things. Try and find out. Wow, shit, yeah, and a gold star. Oh, yes, just what I wanted. Let's start by killing Diggle. You should be old heart this by now. Uh, yeah, but I, I don't I don't have my skill. I, I want that skill back. Can, can I have that skill back? Um, oh, shit, look at this. You can put armor on and everything. Um, this kind of tells you what you are. Oh, my God, look at all this stuff that I need to learn how to use. This is going to be uh, this is going to be a game that I really want to play quite a lot, by the way, because it's it's a roguelike type of game, which means it's kind of random each time you play. I think so. Um, that's going to be really cool. Um, oh shit! Look at all this. Could um, could put on put on some of these. We could uh, hit with a crude stone axe, maybe him in the chops. Oh, look at all this. Can, can we use any of this? It'd be nice if we could. Um, yeah, I think we can. Uh, can I move that to there? No. Okay. Oh, there's a plus coming up. Can I click to add a skill? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we've got a lunge strike. 
Um, do I have one of them strength little little things there that it's allowing me to do? Um, the switcheroo. Put an old umbacorum. Um, okay, let's try that shit. Okay, um, here we go. Oh, here we go. Um, so if I right click. Oh, check that out. I'm behind it now. Look at that sandwich. That's a cool looking sandwich. So that was quite cool. And then we'll just hit him in the back. Look how well you're doing killing these diggles. Is it diggles? Digglers. Digglers? There's blood everywhere, bless your little heart. I like this guy. Mr. Tutorial. You may have noticed at this point that your health is low. No. <laughs> we kicked the shit out of that thing. That health isn't low. Health is re represented by the red bar at the bottom of the screen. If your health falls to zero, you will die. Okay, this ends your current game. You can regain health a few ways. First, you can simply wait, um, either by moving around the dungeon or by hitting space. This way to turn. Your hero will regain health slowly on his own. If your hero eats food, he will regain healthy, health more quickly even. One point health every turn. We've left some in the dungeon for you. Go pick up and eat it. To be honest, I'm pretty stuffed as it is. Can you not see? To eat food, pick it up and drop it in your belt. Press right click to eat. Okay, let's... Uh, can we pick anything up from this guy? Uh, no. Okay, there we go. I'm going to pick it up. Um, is this my belt or is this my belt? Are they both my belts? There you go. And if I right click... Oh, he actually eats it. Cool. Now go kill the other diggle. Okay. Where's the other diggle? Oh, here he is. Check it. He's a bit scared of me now. Okay, I'll wait for him to come to me, and I'm gonna... Oh, hit him with that attack again. Hit him in the back. Boom. Check that shit out. Got another gold star. I think I deserve that one a bit more than the others. Check this out. This little face here. He looks so happy. He's he's well fed. He's, um, he's a bit chunky as well, which is cool. Next tutorial. One of the fun things about DOD, hey, is that you never know what items will do. You're encouraged to learn by experimentation, death and starting a new game. Shit, yeah. Press I to open the inventory or click the inventory button. Okay, I'm going to click the button because remembering all this shit, I'm, I'm never going to remember. Okay, this is your backpack. You can store items in it. Clicking on the inventory button again or press I will close it so you can close it by hitting the little gold X. Yep. You can also drag the backpack around, clicking the top of it and dragging it where you want to move it. Okay, that's pretty cool. We could probably keep it open at all points and just stick it down here, maybe. Try picking up the portion of Aqua Regainer. I'm going to say so many of these words wrong. I'm so sorry if that really annoys you, because it annoys the hell out of me not being a full reader, because I'm, I'm a bit like that in the head. That little head problem that I've got. And putting in your inventory. Okay, so um, let's go up here and uh, we'll pick it up and we'll stick it there, look. Now try right clicking on the potion to drink it. Okay, before I do that, look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab this, I'm gonna stick it over here, and I'm gonna be like, okay, I'll drink it here. Uh, the acid burns through your body. Oh, profound you from this world and into the next tutorial. Is this uh, acid burn? It's powerful acid burns flesh and armor alike. Oh shit, we shouldn't have drank that then. Uh, we did get a gold star for it, but um, our body is so kind of turned into pulp from the acid that we can't actually pin it anywhere on our body, uh, which is a bit a bit sad, really. Um, while journeying through the dungeon, you may encounter a variety of weapons and armor. Many of these weapons and armor are better than what you start off with. Okay, a key to success is upgrading your equipment when possible. Okay, of course. Uh, next to you is a mace. Pick that up. Shit, yeah, I'm gonna pick up a mace. Now that you have a mace, we need to put it into your equipment. You can open up the character panel by pressing C or clicking the character button on the bottom of the screen. Character. And uh, yeah, we're gonna just put in these hands. Oh, here we go. Uh, the character panel where you can see your character's attributes and you can also equip weapons and armor. You can equip weapons and armor by depositing them in the appropriate slot. On the bottom of the panel, you get your, you get to see your statistics. You have two types of statistics: primary attributes and secondary attributes. Okay, primary attributes: burliness, um, caddedness, nimbleness, stubbornness. I kind of know what most of these mean. I don't know what the sag sagacity sagacity. 
don't know what that means, and uh, Savvy, I think, is made up um, pirate lingo, to be honest. Um, do not uh, directly affect your performance. They are, however, used to calculate your secondary statistics. Okay, for instance, oh, your counter-attack percentage is calculated from your nimbleness and your caddishness. Ah, right, okay. That's quite cool. Your sentry attributes include all sorts of stuff. Run the mouse cursor over any attribute to see what it does. Okay, can we can we do that now? Uh, no, we can't. Um, that said, you don't really need to know what everything does. Simply understanding the high numbers in the panel are better numbers. You want things to go up, not down. Okay, so it's not like golf. Now equip the mace by depositing an appropriate slot. I'm going to put it in my pants. No? Oh, okay, I'll, I guess I'll put my hands then. Remove the iron mace. Uh, remove the iron mace from your equipment. It has served its purpose. Huh. Okay. When we created this character, f uh, yeah, when we created this character for you, we chose swords and axe. Go and see if you can find something more appropriate. Okay, um, screw you, mace. I, I don't need you. Um, there's a door there. Oh. Only wooden. Now equip the wooden sword. There we go. Now you just need some armor. Go and find something appropriate. Oh, we'll do. Okay. This door's just opened. That looks like a cone. Um, I'm going to drop that there. Um, this is a traffic cone. It's very poor helmet, <laughs> but we spent all our money for the tutorial on the iron mace so you can't, <laughs> that you can't use. So it'll have to do. Equip it on your head. That is. I already love the humor. Um, this is amazing. Okay, what's going on ahead? You're ready to go now. Kill that monster. What monster? I can't see the corn. I, I would love to have seen the corn. Um, so, this wooden sword is alarmingly undeadly. Can you find anything better? Um, okay, the both wooden swords. Can, can we jewel wield? That'd be pretty cool. Oh, shit. Yes, we can. You aren't ambidextrous enough to wield a weapon in each hand. Oh, so we can. We might be able to get that later on, though. So that'd be pretty cool. Right, do we have any skills that we can kill this monster with? I mean, um, this one that I did was um, was really cool when I did it. So let's try this again. Oh, it's just this little guy again. <laughs> okay, these things do actually taunt you as you do it. So I'm going to hit him with that. And I'm going to hit him in the back. Nice. Another Diggle dead. Another tutorial complete. You're making short work of these. Well done. Oh, thank you, game. Thank you very much. Next tutorial. Uh, you know what's fun? Killing Diggles. Unfortunately, unfortunately, they're getting craftier. This one has surrounded itself with a body of water, and only one of you is leaving this tutorial alive. Oh shit, I, I want a bow. Ooh, crossbows can be used to shoot monsters from a long way away. Um, you need two things to, for a crossbow. A crossbow and some bolts. Let's look around for some bolts. Okay, I can do that. Oh, wooden bolt. This thing is going to get shot in the eye. Uh, we need to find a crossbow. Okay, um, I'm going to stick this in my inventory. Oh, I'm, was that the one that I picked up? I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm sure it'll tell me if, if I do something wrong. Um, check this out that I just found. It's a crossbow. Um, oh yeah, it's the character that we need to open. Um, and look, you can put a crossbow just there, look. Okay, it's the character panel has a slot for crossbows. Pick up the crossbow from your inventory and click in it, then place the crossbow in the inventory by placing it in the equipment slot, okay? Fire bolts, right click the bolts to equip them. The bolts will appear in the golden square at the bottom of the screen to indicate they're the active item. So do we want the poison? Um, I think we do, because that sounds awesome already. Best used for practice and killing vampires. But don't be silly, vampires aren't real. Yeah, I'm gone. Now shoot the bolts at the diggle. By tagging it with the right mouse and pressing right click. Okay, can do. This thing's getting shot in the eye with the poison arrow. Hey, Diggle. Um. Oh. Oh, that that you, you're kind of poisoned. So I'm just gonna. If I just wait. Oh, it died by poison. Oh man, I love this game already. I am gonna play this game so much. Okay, next tutorial. Uh, the Diggle has surrounded himself with a charming mode of lava. Hmm. And we left our crossbow in the previous tutorial. You idiot! <laughs> Fortunately, we have explosives. Sweet. Uh, find the pile of bombs and put them on your belt. 
Oh, look at that little moat. That's, that's really cute. Okay, I found them. Throwing weaponry, bombs, softballs, boom rams, shurikens, and so forth operate the same way as the crossbow bolts do. <clears throat> Excuse me. The main difference is that you don't need a crossbow to use them. Okay. Um, equip the makeshift bombs by right clicking them on your belt. Uh, so if I right click them, there you go. You can tell that the bomb has been activated by looking at the gold box in the bottom of your screen. That, brand, that represents the currently active item. Now right click on the diggle, deploy to kingdom come. Shit, yeah. Here we go. Oh, that, that was lovely. That was so good. Got a little achievement there. That, that's nice. Um, I got a gold star as well, which is um, even nicer. Okay, the room next to yours contains Thermal Bob Blobby. Thermal Blobby? Who will do his best to kill you with his fiery gooey, gooey attacks. Oh dear. Uh, before you go in there and deliver a hoi, he oi, oh my god, heroic beat down, you need to find some protection. Open the equipment panel by clicking on the character button or pressing C. Character. Various types of monsters and spells do various types of damages. You can find magical equipment and skills that will help you resist these effects. Not surprisingly, these are called... Um, what are these called? Resistances. Sorry, I just clicked the button on my um, headset and I'm hoping I haven't muted it. Because that would be, that'd be terrible. Go pick up the Ring of Ash. Okay, where's the Ring of Ash? There it is. Check that out. Okay, you'll see two slots for the rings on the left hand side of the character panel. Equip the ring of ash in your equipment screen. Okay, yeah, there's the rings. I'll put them on. You can see the small fiery circle has appeared in the resistance panel of the character sheet, which is here. Um, equipping the ring has given you two points of conflagratory resistance. Fire resistance. You could have just wrote that. This means that you can absorb two points of fire damage before it starts to affect you. Okay. For instance, suppose a monster hits you with two crushing and two fire damage. With the Ring of Ash equipped, you will only receive the two points of crushing damage. That's 50% of savings. Indeed it is. Go kill that thermal blobby. Show who's boss. Okay, I'm definitely gonna equip. Should we, should we um, equip this? Okay, yeah, let's let's do a long range um kind of jump. Oh shit, look at this thing. Can I Oh I hope you have a terrible day, he says. Um I'm gonna hit it again. Oh, there we go. So it it hit me for four. Um I mean would it have normally hit me for more? is that been taken away? I don't know. Let's give it a hit. There we go. Um, it took me for another four. I'm, I'm guessing. I mean, I could run away here and just and just hit with this. Your health is low. Oh. Oh, I, I seem to be on fire a little bit. Um. Oh, he dodged that. Uh. Uh oh. Oh. You have died. Oh. It's important to understand that normal armor only protects you against uh, crushing, slashing, um, blasting damage. Most monsters do one of these three type of damages, but they may have additional special damages on top of that. Meaning your resistance, specifically, getting as much as, as you can is essential to survive in the dungeon. Okay, was I meant to die there? Um... I mean, we we both died. I kind of I kind of fell on top of him afterwards, and uh, he might have suffocated on my manhandles, um, which I'm glad of, to be honest. Um, our potions: magic, liquids, sorcerers' fluid, wizards' juices. Ew. Whatever you want to call them, they are powerful items that you can find in the dungeons, uh, the D or D, um, and start in your belt or inventory in case of emergencies. Okay, various potions do different things. You may already have encountered an aqua thing that kind of like burned us um, and our insides fell out of our asses. But um, most, potion, most potions are more useful than that. Let's start by finding a potion of invisibility. So, yeah. Okay. Um, let's, let's put on our belt and then right click it a drink. Excellent. You will notice the icon has appeared on the left hand corner of the screen. Wow. 
This is an example of a buff, an active item that makes you stronger or weaker. This case makes you invisible, so I'm guessing for 24 turns as well. Note that there is a time in one corner of the icon. When the time goes to zero, the effect of the potion wears off. In this case, you will return to visibility. Proceed to the second room and kill the diggle. Oh shit, look at this, I'm invisible. Ha ha ha. Okay, um... So... Oh... Uh, oh, he's our guy. Right here. Um, let's give him the old 1-2 uh, with um, this, this long strike. Here we go. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Um, we might as well run up to him. He, he doesn't. He doesn't. Oh, yeah. It's also war. I just noticed that myself. Uh, as you have noticed, the invisibility also wears off when you hit a monster. Proceed to the northern chamber where you'll find a second portion. We picked something up for that. Um, was it this? Was it gold? Oh, you you have to digest food and booze you've consumed. That's that's weird. Voltanic portion. Um, doesn't really tell us what it does. Uh, it imbues your body with electrical energy, granting you resistance to um, shocking and uh, vol voltic uh, voltic attacks. That's what it is. Um, and shocking your foes with deadly lightning. Should yeah. Right, we'll be using that. Okay, oh, wow, we have 90 for that. That's cool. Excellent. Proceed to the third room and kill the Electro Blobby. Okay, here we go. Um, I'm, I'm going to, I think, change it to this one. This one seems to do a bit more damage. Here he is. Here he is. He's going to um, give us all he's got. But we're going to go right behind him. And hit him in the back. There we go. Okay, his attack had no effect whatsoever. So, there we go. You're looking pretty beat up after those battles, hero. Why not enjoy a delicious portion of healing? Um, once again, game, you seem to be mistaken, but um, I'll take you up on that, I think. Um, just to see what it tastes like. Um, portion of healing. Here we go. Nice. I got a gold star as well, which is um, always good. Some heroes choose to fight with steel or, when times are tough, weapons of wood and occasionally spaghetti. Mom's spaghetti. Others have chosen the cerebral strategy of art and magic. Cerebral, cerebral. And this is a subject of today's tutorial. Magic spells are used in the same way as your combat skills. Magic can summon pets, transport you in and out of danger, and generally make your life better. For existence, can. For instance, consider the giant mole blocking your progress. By using that, you can move to the other side of the mole. Okay, firstly equip the sca uh, spell by clicking on your belt. Is this it? No. Um, okay, this one's it. Uh, what else have we got? Ooh. So let's click that. Okay, so now right click on the other side of the mole to teleport and pull the lever. Okay, so if we just right click. Shit, look at that. That is awesome. We can use it straight away as well. That's pretty cool. Spells consume mana. Oh, yeah, of course. We can't just keep using it. Um, the amount of mana consumed is highlighted on the blue mana bar at the bottom of the screen. Okay. Hopefully it regenerates like the more you, you run around. You can either wait by hitting space. Yes. Or you can drink booze. Go find the sewer brew, then place it in your belt and right-click to drink it. Oh, here we go. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a bit of a drink. What have we got? Uh, sewer brew is not high quality form of alcohol. Mm. However, every turn that you still have booze in your system, you will regain mana at a faster rate than you normally would. Specifically, one point every turn. The fueled by booze icon indicates how long you remain refreshed. So it's only just five, but that, that's gonna be five amount of mana. The next room contains a diggle. As a wizard, you are weak and puny, and would not survive a direct confrontation. Instead, blow them up with your magic powers. First, equip the Pyrokinesis spell in your spell belt by clicking on it. Oh, so we'll do that. Okay. Now blow up that diggle. Big style. Where is he? Here he is. Um. Oh, that was beautiful. 
we, we, we set him on fire um, and he's now burning he's burning and he's hurt and and we're happy some heroes choose to combine magic and weaponry for potent effects these wizards often choose to use spells to make their attacks more powerful these are called buffs okay for instance the power of magic steel spell from the school of viking magic infusing your weapon with potential voltalic energies voltic voltalic energies um clicking on the power magic steel spell in your spell belt definitely oh no not that one this one there we go now right click to cast Okay, so what does this do? Thunder and Storm, with a triumph for your magic steel, the spell grants your attack the power of lightning. Okay, yeah, let's do that. The power of magic and steel is now infused on your weapon with the Voltaic Energy. Voltic Energy. <laughs> These spells stay active for up to five attacks, but also consumes magic as long as it's in effect. Hmm, if you run out of mana, the spell will dissolve. Oh no. You can also cancel the spell anytime by pressing X in the buff icon. Okay, yep, we got that. Now you are full of lightning, why not take out the inter <laughs> enraged diggle in the other room? I thought I said endangered there, that would have been funny. Um, okay, so as we move around, does our mana go down? Is that what it's saying? Yeah, it's, it went up and then it went back down there, if you've seen that. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Wants, he wants to, um, wants to rumble. There we go, we're from the come to us, and then BAM! Him. Oh, he, he did actually get a good hit on us there. Um, but we got a better hit on him, so let's try that again. Oh, and uh, one more, just for luck. There we go, we've got a gold star. Next. Oh, okay, that's everything. Cool. Um, is that everything? Yeah, it is. Okay, so that's, um, that's our tutorial done. Um, so, please join me on my next video, where I'm actually going to start my very first... Dungeons of Dreadmoor Adventure. Thank you very much for watching though, um, and I'll see you next time. Cheers!